Hi there. I'm Carol Burnett. I certainly didn't set out to make history, but back in 1967, I was lucky enough to be the first woman on television to host her own comedy variety show. And in the 11 years that followed, we welcomed a lot of historic women to Studio 33. And we had a few behind the scenes as well. Back in the early 60s, stand-up comedy was the next big thing. And one woman who always stood out when she stood up was Joan Rivers. Why should I clean? Housework is futile. You make the bed, you do the dishes. Six months later, you have to start all over again. (laughs) It's true. One of Joan's biggest influences was another hilarious woman and a dear friend of mine. Phyllis Diller and I started out together in New York, and she soon went from being the funniest mom in the PTA to headlining the comedy clubs back when she was often the only woman performing, and she was certainly the only woman who looked like that. Do you solemnly swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth? I do. By the power vested in me, I now pronounce as man and wife. (laughs) Whether they were doing stand-up or sitting behind the bench, the verdict is in. Joan and Phyllis always had us falling out of our seats. All please sit. If the Lord wanted man to fly, he'd give him wings. And I start to get cramps. No, that guy was our pilot. So, uh... Shout Factory and The Carol Burnett Show celebrate great women in TV history, like Joan Rivers and Phyllis Diller.